everybody would meet him handicap in thoroughbred racing from Parks Racing. I still call it Philadelphia Park. Ben Salem, Pennsylvania on Monday. Martin Luther King Day, January the 16th. And this is my day at the track.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 6 this afternoon, folks. 2.31 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Mile 70 yard test on the dirt. That's 8.3 furlongs. Three-year-old fillies racing for an allowance prize of some $47,000. Contenders number three, Will Inicious. Number two, She's Striking. Number four, Ride the Silver Train. And number eight, In Spite. Number three, Winalicious, the overall speed leader in his allowance field, racing at or about today's distance of a mile 70 yards on the dirt, has hit the board in power run fashion in both of her two career starts to date, including a power run win to break her maiden in her last start. Jockey Stuart Elliott, trainer Anthony Dutrow, sent her post her to fit the board with 54% of their entry saddle as a team to date. Number two, she's striking, comes off a power run win to break her respective maiden, in her last start was just the second race of her young career to date. Race 6 summary number 3. When Alicious tops the contenders list here at Parks, which also includes number 2, she's striking. Number 4, ride the silver train. And number 8, in spite. 3 2 4 8 in the 6th from Parks. Bonus long shots. Beulah Park, race 5. Number 6, fill a full of lead. 4-1 to one in the morning line, drops in class by 8 track master units, the overall speed leader, Miss Allowance Field, sprinting at 6 for months on the dirt. Turf Paradise, race 3, the 5-1 to one shot, number 3, Love Dragon, drops in class by 8 units, good speed figures, racing at or about to these distance of 9 furlongs on the dirt, which are equivalent to the favorite, number 2, Cold Prince. So from Parks Racing on a Monday, for data for day at the track.com reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.